everybody, Gamer Penny here, bringing you another episode of our Lord of the Rings Online Let's Play, and we are back with Baird Beam. Um, it has been a hot minute. If you didn't watch my Final Fantasy video where we came back, it was because my computer broke. Um, long story short, it was the cooling. I didn't know it at the time, and I wasn't impressed with myself trying to figure it out. So I just bought a new computer. <laughs> And then once I realized it was just the cooling, now I just have a second computer that just needs a new cooling unit and it should be good to go. But the new one has much better graphics card, runs really smooth, um, and isn't, you know, four years old. So, uh, we should be okay. Um, another thing that happened in between this episode and last episode, let me fix the mic here, you might hear some bumping around. Um, is the expansion came out. Or the shadows came out. And it reset all of my... Specialties, so I went red line. <laughs> uh, I think we tried red line once and I didn't really like it But um, now I'm going again. I read the skills. I took some time to try and understand so hopefully um, Hopefully we'll get this here, so I kind of want to start off with that Bernie numbers boom boom like these are kind of like buffs, I think. Let me mix those up. These are buffs to our damage, as well as this. It, 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 we'll see. Well, I may not like it, but we shall see. But all of that being said, I want to continue on with the main story quest, and we need to go to Lonic. Um. Which is, I'm glad we did that, because <laughs> I would not have remembered that. Not remembered where to go. So how's the new expansion, those of you who are playing? I was, I, I have no idea what it's about, since I'm so behind. Um, I haven't really looked into it, I just heard that it, it seemed really cool. I really like the load screen <laughs> with the 9 on it, it looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it should be, should be interesting. So let me know how you're liking it. I'm excited to give it a try. Uh, there's a lot of content in the game that I have not done yet, so. I cannot find my father anywhere in the village. Uh-oh. Before Wadu was slain, Solvok used to go to the pool of the king to listen to the water and think. Perhaps he is there now. Let us look for him there. The pool of the king is northwest of the village. Okay, I need to do something else really quick. We're just gonna turn this down like... We're gonna do that. At least that helps. That's not at all what I wanted to do. My keybinds are all... Okay. Keywines are all weird. Computer's different. <laughs> Who knows what else is gonna go wrong today. Um, I should put shifts up there though. Let me do that real quick. That's all wrong. Option. E mapping. Um, quick slaps. Ow. <laughs> isn't it is it not key mapping? Oh I was already down at the bottom, that's why. I'm trying to figure out. So uh, that's that one bar five I think is what I want. Yes, okay. Oh, no, 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 I don't want this. Hold on. I know what the difference is. It's been too long since I've played this. Whoops. Okay. What I want, I think... Is, 
I want that back. Four, five. Yep. I put it on S. Okay. S and chats for the <laughs> for our mount there. Okay. All right. Um, pool of the king. This must be it down here. Also, if it sounds like my voice is strained, it's because it is. Um, I'm having some problems with my thyroid glands. I'm going to the doctor to go get them checked out to see if we need to up my medicine. But, um... I, I'm assuming that I'm going to be getting an ultrasound on there. They're probably going to find that it's pretty swollen. So, I will let you know when I find out more <laughs> about that. Hopefully it's nothing too bad, but I mean, I can feel it swelling. Um... I feel it in my neck. Feels like there's always something stuck in the back of my throat. That sort of stuff. Feels like food's not going down. All the good stuff, you know, that comes with some thyroid problems. So, all right. Nona has told me what you plan to do and why. I will not keep you from this journey, Baird Beam. The man. Dreams have power. All the Algreg know this. We ignore their warnings at our peril. I wish to speak further with my daughter. Search through the pottery fragments that surround this pool for something she can bring with her on this journey to remind her of Solvuk. Sometimes things of value catch on the sides of the pool. Old things, shiny things, pretty things. Busy yourself with this task while I speak with my daughter. Okay. I find nothing of note. Nothing of note. Oh, there's more than one. Ah, I was just gonna do the same thing over and over. Didn't see the other ones. Find a small barrel that shines with its own light. Ooh. Did you find something? Ah, you did. Selvok takes the barrel from you and holds it up to the light. I do not know how long this rested on the bottom of the pool, Baird Beam, or what caused it to drift to the bank and catch on the stones, but it did. And in that it is like my Nona, and like you. You are moved by forces of simple man like Solvuk does not understand. He is not presumed to know where you will be on the morrow. Solvuk laughs again. The stone is pretty, Nona my daughter. Wear it in the distant lands, and look on it, and think of Solvuk. Wield that sword of the horse lords, and think of your brother, Wadu. You will be far away, but you will be near too. Close by in heart and close by in thought. Ah, Solvuk's way is the way of battle, not the way of words. He has said enough. I mean, I think those were pretty good words. Um, Vitality Fate, Vitality Will. We'll take the bowl of Skurly. What is Skurly? <laughs> I do not believe in long farewells. You will automatically travel to Talon Haldir in Lothorian. Alright, let's go. I'm ready. Back in Lothlorien, man. This got some points. Okay, hello. You long to see the Lady Galadriel. I could not I would not keep you from her bared beam, but I fear things are not so simple this time. This Dunlandin girl that accompanies you must be blindfolded if she is to enter. My orders forbid me from letting unfamiliar folk into Lorien. This Dunlingden girl who accompanies you cannot enter the wood. We tried to explain to Halder the reason you have brought Nona all the way to Lothlorien, but he remains unconvinced. This dream of yours could mean something, but even if it does, it does not excuse me from my duty. Since I know you, Baird Beam, I will allow her to enter with you, but she must be blindfolded. This point is not negotiable. You are ready to accept this. Come with me. Yeah, I want that swan fountain for my house. I have the blindfold right here. If the Dunlinden girl will wear it without complaint, I will bring you to see Lady Galadriel. Yay! This Dunlinden girl who travels with you cannot be allowed to see the secret ways into Lothlorien. I must bind her eyes if she is to come with you to see the lady. Guide your friend well, for I will not be responsible for any injuries she suffers while blindfolded. This is the law of the Golden Wood. No outsiders must see the secret trails of Lothlorien. It is out of respect for you, Baird Beam, that I permit even this. Follow me with care. 
Okay, I'm gonna do that, but first, um, don't we have a saber cat? Right here. Saber tooth cat. So now that we're redline, our cats do, um, our cats do more damage. Fana. Um, where's our. I need to know. I didn't put what Fana means. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, I'll have to figure that out. Alright, she's blindfolded. Unless Fana's not the name we chose. You've seen many distant places, Baird Bean. And any compare with the Golden Wood? No. Mirkwood came probably the closest, but it was dark. These are dangerous times, and I fear the beauty of Lothlorien must soon wane. This is far enough. Alright, I think this is far enough. You may remove the blindfold now, and I will bring you to the Lady Galadriel. That was very, barely far at all. Entering Callus Galad. Click you. Why can't I click you? There. This land is a pretty one, as these elves seem fond of saying, but this is what the daughter of Solvuk has to say. The hills of Nanleglin are, at sunset are more beautiful by far. I submitted to the binding of my eyes for your sake, Baird Beam, and to learn the secret behind your dream, but do not expect it again. I will leave this land with my sight unhindered, or these elves will learn a sharp lesson at the point of Wadu's blade. Where is this elf queen? Dang, don't you dare pull out your... I mean, we just met, but Galadriel is... <laughs> You are not going to get far with that, so. By the Huntsman, this must be her. I did not expect you in Lothlorien, Baird Beam. What need has driven you hither when so many need your help elsewhere? You relate to Galadriel the troubling images you beheld while dreaming in Grimbold's camp, but your spirits fall when she betrays no sign of understanding. Your dreams are your own, Baird Beam. I had nothing to do with these images you saw. Ah. Talk to Gandalf. Much of it seems born of worry for your friends, which is not unusual. But you saw more than that. Even you? How can that be? Yes, Nona. There are forces in this world greater than any of us, even Galadriel. Their purpose is hidden to me, and I can see only glimpses. And yet, even in the darkest of hours, hope can never truly be gone. Hello, Baird Beam. Oh, look at Gandalf, the white. We have both been through a great deal since last we met, Baird Beam, and neither of us is the same person we were then. I do not have time, the time to tell you what befell me since we parted, but know this, the quest remains. Your dream tells Galadriel more than she lets on, and it tells me more yet. Our friends face a grave danger along the Anduin. I hope it is not too late for them to avoid it. Gandalf's eyes seem to pierce you, and you shiver uncomfortably. There is something unfamiliar in the wizard's bearing. He reminds you of Saruman. Your dream may hold only a shred of truth, but even that could prove vital. This is my guess, Spared Beam. I think you are needed along the banks of the Great River. Only there can you learn the purpose behind your dream. I am needed elsewhere. You will have to serve. Okay. I am sorry, Baird Beam. It is good to see you. There is just so much that needs to be done. The Eagles have proven able companions to me in these dark days. Why here has agreed to bear me where next I need go, and his brother Landrovel has been keeping his sharp eyes on the Anduin. What that I could be everywhere. I fought against fire and shadow in the depths of Moria and on the peak, and when returned to this world, I faced another foe from afar. 
These deeds have left me tired, and I will not speak of them now. We will speak again, Baird Beam, if our deeds prove fruitful. If they do not, well... Gandalf trails away. Suddenly, with a blaze in his eye and a tone of mirthful anger, he continues. Perhaps they would have proven enough had we not stood around talking about them for so long, my sentimental man. We have our own tasks now. Let us get to them. I will send for El Elfro here to bring you down the river a uh, thing glad, Baird Beam. Gandalf believes a great evil harries our absent friends. Perhaps your presence on the banks of the Anduin can prevent it from discovering or endangering them. What about Nona? I do not know what to think of this Galadriel, Baird Beam. Her words are fair, but beneath the surface she wields strength to match even the fiercest warrior of my people. I am surprised. Let us do as she says, and perhaps the answer to the riddle of your dream will be revealed along the Great River. Okay. Hello. I have taken you as far as I can. The rest of your road leads alongside the Great River. There is a camp of elves not far from here. Um, in Thinglad. It is an outpost from which many people watch for threats from the south. Is called Haldorith, and if you wish to know what has been happening along the river, that is a good place to start. Present yourself to Fimloth at Haldorith and ask her for tidings. What is this? Is this just a? Might you spare a moment of your time? Who are you roaring at? Hey. what I thought. Good God. Wrecked. Wrecked. Um, yeah, I'll take this. What? What? I feel like these are going to be for nice things. Can I try this on? Nice helmets, but... Ooh, that one's nice. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm not going to read this side quest, though. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. Ah, right here. Empty fishing net. Search the river's edge. Okay. Let me do something real quick. It's gonna go frozen for a second. We are not frozen. Um, the cat's name is bothering me. Santa in Elvish. Oh, Santa is Kenya for word meaning white or cloud. Okay, that makes sense. Let me get back here. We gotta update our bio for that. Hit it. Fano. Cloud. We'll just do white cloud. Okay. Alright. Um, we already got that. El Norio of the nets you found. Someone's fishing down here. What do you need? Um, okay. Search for signs of trespassers. This way. I... Saw these. All right, let's get him. Try the new spell, Lightning Storm. Holy smokes. <laughs> Trekked. Okay, this is not what I'm looking for. Those guys. I mean, these are signs of trespassers. Man, we're just... Back up here. 
this way. It would help if I knew what I was looking for. Third. I have no idea what I'm. Search nearby for s oh, right here, right here, right here. A horseshoe. Bring the horseshoe to Noriel. Charge at me. What can I do for you? Okay, I would like to take the. Mind my words, traveler. Okay. What else you got? Might you spare a moment of your time? I'm just gonna get these tokens Might real you quick. Spare a moment of your time. I don't know what they're for, but I'm gonna get them. <laughs> I've not done the side quests around here. I've not been to this area before. This is all brand new to me. Surprised we're not being swept away away by the river. These are all elf tricks to get people out of here, huh? Where's the fisher? Kinda... Requeed. It's like you're not going up to confront them, you're just trying to scare them off or make it inconvenient for them to be here. I kinda like that. <laughs> that seems like elven trickery. Where's the fisherman, though? He like walking around or anything? What is that noise? Oh, maybe he's down there. Okay. Maybe that's not the hiding spot. You're back here. This is a good place to hide. Not working. Huh. 
Not working. Oh, there we go. Wait a few. Humble. These words just ain't right. <laughs> Witch of the Golden Wood, could it be her? Okay, it's getting out there then. They're not gonna care about me? I don't know how he didn't see me, but that's okay. <laughs> so. Is that a Rohirrim? Futak. So it's not like a stealth mission like I thought maybe it might be. Which I'm okay with that. Okay. We're back up this way. Here's this one. One more fishing net, I think. Oh, stop. It should be up here some. Ah, it's over there, on across the river. I'm gonna get, rinse all my stinkweed off. Now we go and we talk to- no, dang it. I'm gonna keep doing that forever. We talk to Noriel at the outpost. So, you cared more about some guys that were just fishing than you did about the orcs that were in there? Bum, 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 ba, okay. Let us. Ow. Here. Friend. Grab this. Meg of Honor. <laughs> oh, bingo! I should write down my impressions. Uh, oh, my ink pot has run dry. It's a brisk, enjoyable walk, and I have already noticed a change in the scenery as we leave the golden wood behind us. The trees here are still lovely, but they are smaller, and their beauty is of a different sort than those in Lothlorien proper. I should write down my impressions before I forget to do so. Bingo takes out his jar of ink, removes the stopper, and stares inside with dismay. My ink pot has quite run dry, Baird Beam. There's only enough ink remaining for the very briefest descriptions, and that simply will not do. Do you remember the books you brought? To me from Peniseth. One of them spoke at great length about the art of the elves. They must know a thing or two about the importance of ink and creative endeavors. Crabs can lend us an ink pot's worth. Ask some of the folk here of Haldrith and see if any of them have an artistic bent and can help us spare beam. Okay. Um, I wanna talk to What can okay. I do for you? These are all those side quests that I what got. What do you need? Meg of Onan. 
I think those seem like Find daily, a huh? In the golden wood. Fire. Healer. Oh, bingo badge barter. I have collected many fine items during my travels. Oh, we could get a map of Mirkwood. Do you have an animal? Brown snake? Bypass the snake for now. <laughs> I do not have any ink, but I may still be able to help. It's a pleasure to meet you, Baird Beam, and I sympathize with the plight of your friend Bingo. For the ink to run dry when the ideas still flow is truly a sad occurrence, one with which I am all too familiar. I must confess that I do not have an ink pot for your friend, for this outpost is a place of watchfulness, not of creation. But I may still be able to help. See, I know of a way to make a high-quality ink from ingredients found along the banks of the Anduin. You grind up a certain type of dark mud with special rivers, riverside reeds, you can obtain a thick pigment. Adding water to this pigment will produce a highly high-quality ink that should serve your friend well. You do as I instruct, he will be writing again with little delay. Okay. Orcs have been sighted along the river. This is a dangerous time to pass through Thinglad, stranger. Orcs have been sighted along the river. Finloth listens attentively as you tell her that friends of yours passed this way, and you seek to know if they did so safely. The scouts have not reported any bands of travelers recently, but if your friends traveled in secret, they may have gone unnoticed. I have fewer scouts in Thinglad than one I once did. If you travel south alongside the river, perhaps you will find some sign of your friend's passage. Okay. Um... So there's a couple I want to do the bingo ones while we're here because I would like to keep bingo up with us if that's at all possible. So let's go let's go do them real quick. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm I just like singing with my mouth, I guess, sometimes. Ouch. Okay. Got some reeds. Ooh, that's gonna be a lot of stuff to gather. We're down at the side of it, so let me just check over here first for others. The fishers are gone. This area is absolutely beautiful, by the way. I love it. Okay. Go up this way. In fact, we'll hop on our Steed of the Elder. In which in Baird Beam's lore, this is a gift from the Rohirrim. One of their show show off horses, basically. Not a battle horse, but just one for, for show, you know? <laughs> and one more, and that is Bingo's quest done. Anna, what are you doing in the water? Okay, we'll go turn this one in, see if he has another one around this area, otherwise we'll move on. Um, but yeah, if we're, I don't want to bypass Bingo because I'd like to keep him up to speed. I already have to go back and retrace the entire steps for the dumb hat rack. 
<laughs> Which, I should probably go do that before we continue on with it, but... Man, do I not want to. One day, we will get that hat rack. And it will be a thing of legend. Okay, let's grind up this into an ink. Add some water. Give it to Bingo. Now you can write your story. I wonder if there are any points of interest nearby that will suit my book. What high quality ink. I cannot believe you were able to make such a fine ink so quickly and with such common ingredients. This must be the ingenuity of the elves, truly. I will get to work writing once again. Could you ask Mayor Vadhor if there are any points of interest nearby that would suit my book? Be sure to tell him that I am writing on a count that should be both exciting and true, Baird Beam. So I hope any place he suggests will be ripe for adventure. Who is Mer? Oh, it's the guy. Same guy. For Bingo, Bingo to have come so far, <laughs> he must be a formidable adventurer. Bingo wants to- wow, nice leap there. <laughs> Bingo wants to know of interesting places to explore along the Great River. Well, there are a few locations he might find exciting, but I cannot guarantee his safety. Suppose if he has come this far from his home, he must be a formidable adventurer, or be in the company of one Baird Beam. To the south of you, you can find the old burrows, which were once the home to peaceful creatures of nature. They have recently been claimed by ferocious wargs, so if Bingo wishes to see them, he would be wise to do so with caution. To the southeast, you will find Foul Ma's Den, where lies a mighty bear, gray of coat, but black-hearted. It would be wise to stay away from Foul Moth, but he... But he is of tremendous size, and an encounter with him might make us for a thrilling chapter in Bingo's book. Okay. That's further down. Okay. Go do that, then. Um, I think what I'll do, actually, is do the main quest that's right over here. Might come back for bingos. Should be right here. You see trampled grass underfoot. Did the fellowship come this way? Has the earth been disturbed here? Does it signify the fellowship's passage? Lane Scout. You gingerly remove an orc arrow from the body of a slain scout. Uh oh. Oh, stop. Get out. What is this? Keep doing it. Sentinel of Thinglad. That's cool. Okay, so there was a slain scout. Orcs must be following our friends. I mean, they're all around here. Turn this in. I should probably read what came out with the new expansion. See if there's any updates that affect me, or if it's just areas. <sighs> this is not the first friend we have lost, but that makes it no easier. Uh, 
I will tell her family that she has fallen in service to the Golden Wood. Finloss shakes her head sadly. The orcs that killed her are surely still somewhere in Thinglad. If you wish to help us while you seek sign of your friends, slay any orcs you find in this land. Okay, will do. But I think we will do that in the next episode. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Lord of the Rings online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye everyone.